I've gotten a lot better at drawing faces, but I'm still consistently inconsistent, which makes sense because artists spend years perfecting their faces. But just how much can I improve my faces with 15 days to the clock? Let's find out. I started by breaking down a face from a goaded artist, and the problem shows itself again. Sure, I drew a face, but it looks like your cousin Amelia. Alright, so three hours later, and right now you may be like, hey Zuppy, these faces aren't that bad. And yeah, I'd agree with you. But have you noticed how they're all looking the same direction? Look at what happens when I try to change the angle. We get this. It looks like she accidentally pissed herself in Public, but she's trying to keep her composure. Hey, it's only up from here though. At least I hope. So I'll be working on learning more angles. I'm saving that for later though. But alright, what was I doing here? Basically, I wanted to stylize my eyes by adding some lower eyelids that kind of look similar to hers. And I think they look pretty good. Alright, so shady. You know what my sister says to me every day? She's always like, yeah, that looks great. But I think it needs some shade. So I gotta learn some shading, at least for her, man. Okay, I made this girl blue so I could get a better understanding of color. Oh, I gave her black eye, guys. I promise I didn't Will Smith her. It was not on purpose. Oh, I found the color. You see this? red here and red right yeah no nope. it's actually an insanely bright blue yeah so in a nutshell all colors look different next to each other but guys the shading is looking rough we gotta bring out the black ball and again everyone be lying whoever said that shading a ball would be easy lied look at this but guys after an hour i can't believe i solved it actually i can't believe it took this long i realized that i was zoomed in close it's that simple you will never be that zoomed in and that's why it looked muddy to me because i could see all the streaks all right so so let's write a test. Come here, come here. You know how whenever you look at a picture of yourself and then you just realize how ugly you are? That's because you're not used to your ugliness. So if I flip the canvas, we can get the same effect. All right, so take a good look at them and then we're gonna see if they go to shit. All right, a little bit longer. Oh, oh, uh, wait, it was not supposed to be like this. To me, they look perfectly fine. Or I'm delusional, I don't know. All right, so lips are next on the list. I love me some nice, juicy, kissable lips. But I hate drawing them. You gotta draw them soft, which is hard. All right, so I've drawn a lip and all I gotta say She's all yours. Okay, I decided to spend a good two hours on the lips. The joints looking juicy. Look at them. If we zoom deeper into the lip, we can see that I was using multiple different colors. Like you see how this cube isn't all the same color? I did that before the lips. And I think I got pretty good at choosing good colors. So now, let me catch you guys up on stuff I'd never put in a video before. These are from like about a month ago. Firstly, I think everything on the left side is cool. Like I really like this girl's hair. And then here's the faces I drew this morning. The only one that has a story is like this girl. I was trying to make this girl look happy, but then I kind of like the way she looked so i just left her and also i completely forgot to change up the angles so i'm gonna work on that tomorrow but tomorrow did not come that quick for some reason before bed this face was on my mind so then i was like let me see if i could figure out why i messed up real quick but the problem is i kept on saying five more minutes 15 more minutes 20 more minutes so then i'm two hours in still trying to figure out where i went wrong but eventually after feeling like a crack addict i finally figured it out i've been making the jaw too high and skinny and i would oftenly place the chin in the wrong spot which affects the way the cheeks look this is why whenever i try to change the angles up i get a freak of nature but was this worth it yes yes the fuck it was totally worth it all right so now i can proceed with a bit more confidence today i'm working on shading and trying to stylize some facial features so first i started with the eyes and basically the hardest part here is trying to get the eyelashes to be the correct size but, Ooh, look at the eye i drew looking good basically i added three colors to the eye gave it some shine and then added some light to the area where your little bitch tears come out okay so time for the nose not gonna lie i normally draw the nose random and it turns out pretty well but i worked on it because i think i can make it a little better same thing with the ears no one looks in the ears so i normally just draw a little maze in it but i'll learn it because why not and all right these are all the facial features i've drawn so far but i've been thinking about what i should draw on day 15 so i started to look at some face art for some inspiration and not gonna lie i really regret doing that because at first i was like oh yeah i can draw some shoulders sure but then i started to run into that crazy shit and i was like oh man i want to do that so now i want to draw hands and the thing is i already know how to draw hands kind of but my hands are worse than my face and if that wasn't bad enough if i'm drawing hands i gotta draw arms and if i'm drawing arms the arms are connected to the torso and then i gotta make them work all together i don't even think all that's possible but i'm gonna go for it all right so let's get this done first thing i wanted to do was re-up on the front view i keep forgetting to make my lines thinner though like it doesn't look horrible but it turns out better when it's thinner but here's why i start doing a little bit of experimenting and basically i'm just messing around with the shading on the specimen here kind of see what looks cool like here i've removed his line art here i decided to actually shade it which made it actually way better 
And also I added this little neck thing below that I kind of liked at first. But after looking at it for a while, I was like, this Loki looks like a little ass beard. <laughs> so I can never use it ever again. Demon Slayer characters look like they just got a little beard. But here's something I'm surprised no one has called me out on. Look at the necks from last video. You guys really let my mom and little sister beat you to the punch? That's sad. But yeah, I'm gonna do some neck studies tomorrow. And eventually we'll get to hands. All right, so I'm practicing connecting the head to the shoulders. And then later I switched to pencil and paper. But here's the thing. Mid drawing, I make a mistake. And my first thought was, all right, <laughs> time to undo. A split second later, I realized I got to pull out the eraser. Oh, sad and shit. If I mess up on the eye, I have to erase the whole eye. But all right, here are the faces. My favorite one is this one. It kind of reminds me of Kobini. And I like this one with the ice cream. I don't like this girl. Her forehead's big, but not in a cute way. <laughs> and this one is just unsettled. Like, I don't know why. It's just creepy. And then these are the last faces I drew today. And they just all got something weird to it. Except the blue one. All right, today's goal is hair. But this time, I remember to make my brush skinnier. Oh my gosh, guys. And the main thing I was paying attention to here was the lines. And I think it turned out way better. You're probably staring at the girl in applesauce. I did that because her face just reminded me of an apple. Also, the more you look into her eyes, the more unsettling she gets. Page flip. Hmm, I see some mistakes. But overall, these are still pretty good. My main mistakes were that I was making the head and the forehead smaller. But that just makes the head weird. Like, it should be a decent size. And low-key big foreheads look cute if they're done right. <laughs> as long as you don't have a receding ape as hairline. <laughs> and here's where I try to fix both those mistakes. And I think I actually got the head looking the way I want it. I just need to work more on the hair because if you look at this girl, you'll notice that the hair is just kind of weird. Like hair doesn't fall like that. All right, so here's me drawing something to shade once more. And you know what? I think I did pretty good. <laughs> her eyes are bigger than my balls, but damn. I low-key think the shading makes her eyes look bigger because if you think about it, shading means that the eyelids are pushed back. Therefore, the eyes are pushed forward. So yeah, there's that. But all right, before I leave this picture, I had to do it. Here's what she's supposed to look like. She's supposed to look like Shrek's daughter. Wait, I just thought about it. Does Shrek have a daughter already? <laughs> oh my god. What is that? She hawk and the hawk's baby. Much better. All right, now it's finally time to learn different face angles. And basically, there are seven main ones that I need to know. Front shot, profile shot, and then there's three looking angles, and the last two are looking up and down. Or you could say that the camera is above or below them. And if I can get through this, the face should hopefully get easier. So let's see if I can do it. So right now, I'm studying Demon Slayer, and man, my respect for Demon Slayer goes to the roof every time I look at it. There's just so much care put into their art. All right, so this is the first face that I pumped out. Isn't it just the cutest thing you've ever seen? All right, so I obviously had to have a take too, but this time I made sure that I was gonna take as much time as I needed. I'm talking like 50 minutes per face because these angles are challenging, especially the hair. Probably the hardest thing I've done on video. I even had to take a Kirby break. Cute, right? Yeah, I know. <laughs> Actually, that's not Kirby. That's just Kirby. Also, I just thought about it. I'm going to do the looking up and looking down angles later so I can focus up a little bit more. And yo, I'm actually proud of these faces. All right, it's time to do it again. Not even joking. If I forget what I learned, I will cry mentally. This time, I'm gonna try it with no reference. And people did say that I should always use a reference, but I say that's wrong. You gotta test yourself. Like school. And personally, I'm always seeing how much I can do correctly without the reference. And sometimes, like the drawings I'm doing right now, I'll draw without anything. Only looking up something if I really need it. That way, I can clearly see what I don't know. And more importantly, this way, I can see if the things I'm learning are sticky. And I believe the more the reference becomes a crutch, the easier everything becomes. Comes. But enough about that. Look at these faces. Muy guapo. And again, if I needed a reference, I made sure to look at it. I needed a reference for everyone's hair and this girl's face. But the rest, I did on my own. By the way, if you ever see anything Among Us related, that was my sister, not me. Also, I drew another Kirby during my little break. <laughs> Looks like he's seen some shit. No, you want to know what he saw? He saw that you didn't check on my Twitter. Yeah, but seriously, either you'll love it or you'll be like, what the freak is this? You should definitely check it out. Link is down below. All right, so this is what I did next. I started with the angle where the camera would be above her head. And even though I broke down the reference and tried for an hour, it was still looking weird. Like her nose looks like it's breaking. And like if you erase the nose, it's not a bad face. It just doesn't look like the camera's above her head. So now I'm gonna retry it on the side. And I thought shading might help it, which it did make it look cooler. But it doesn't look like we're looking from above her. But that's when I figured out I gotta overlay her head over the shoulders. And then I gotta draw more of the top of the head. So knowing that, I should have it for next time. And here I tried the opposite angle. When the camera 
was below her. And I think it turned out pretty well. The camera's just slightly below her, but still works. And you know how I said the little black thing looks like a beard? I actually love it now. I think I did pretty good today. I think this is a success. Success. But now it's time to kill my happiness. I still need to level up neck, shoulders, arms, boobs, learn some cool poses, and maybe some more expressions. And hands. There are still hands. I don't even think I have enough time to get good at hands. Because here's the thing. Last video, I drew hands in two parts. In the first part, I didn't remember shit afterwards. But I do remember how I drew hands towards the end of the video. So we'll see how this goes. Okay, so if a walrus had hands, this is what I imagine they look like. These joints are wrong. Hands feels like I'm solving trigonometry problems. Alright, so today I was short on time, so I wanted to do a quick drawing. Something like one of those TikToks I run across sometimes. But yo, I was actually able to do it to some extent. I started with the eyes. I wish I recorded it. But yeah, I did not think I was gonna get close. I low-key feel like I created something to top now. Alright, so we're back to drawing hands. And here I'm just taking my time. And this is something I haven't talked about yet. My secret goal for the video was just to slow down. Which sounds easy, but it's definitely been the most challenging part of this video. And I made this goal from what I heard from a Proco art video. As soon as you ask yourself that question, what am I trying to do here? Stop right there. Because then you don't know. Do something else. Come back to this when you feel more confident. And then finish. And it's kind of something I've already been doing. Like if I don't know something, I'll always search it up. But now I've been taking it even further further to where if i don't even know where my next line is gonna go i stop because i could just always copy the line but it won't stick in your head if you just copy you gotta understand exactly why they use that specific line and that way you start to know it by heart so this is what i've been working on behind the scenes all right so it's time for a quick kirby break actually you know what kirby reminds me of <laughs> but a gangsta all right here we go another masterpiece has been created i drew a sorry looking taco over here i also drew a girl with a big ass forehead but i actually think it looks cute the last one is definitely cuter though look at the little Kirby. Look at him. Alright, so I drew so many freaking hands, bro. I, it didn't even sink in how many hands I drew until just right now. That is so much. It was probably like five hours. Five hours of straight listening to rap. Yeah, I, I gotta go to bed. Alright, so it's planning to draw hands all day again. But to be honest, freak that. I'm gonna work on the faces again because that's really what matters. So I drew this one over here. It's got one of my favorite colorways. October vibes. Here I decided to draw a girl with a hoodie. Her face is a bit flat, but I think it low-key adds to the vibe. And then next, I decided to get give a profile shot another try because last time her face was flat so i went to figure out why it was basically i need to push her face forward more i'm leaving her bald though and then lastly i decided to work on windy hair and i actually love the way it turned out i like her face especially and this is everything that i drew today all right so i thought i was gonna go to bed but i actually spent some time on my sketchbook i drew these while watching the last 30 minutes of the titanic i low-key should watch it from the beginning because it's kind of crazy my favorite is the bottom corner one and then we got one more page <laughs> ignore the first one she looks crazy but i like the rest they're looking fresh that was not supposed to be a rhyme anyways i'm running out of time i still gotta work on arms folds and hands still needs a little bit more work but first i want to try drawing curly hair i just want to draw one just one but finding a reference was so hard for context i'm black and have curly hair but ladies and gentlemen look at this what is that oh no <laughs> Oh, oh god black anime characters are not it i just want my characters to be like yeah hey i'm black like this is not what i asked for okay this is what i was looking for you guys have no idea how long this took to find and here's what i drew obviously mine needs some help it looks like she walked into a middle school bathroom and got hit by ceiling toilet paper but after i reminded myself that i was probably rushing when drawing this i took it slow the second time around and i think it turned out pretty well i really love her expression though i was using using her face as a mannequin for some hair studies so i just kept reusing it all right ladies and gentlemen it's time to show you this amazing art i made from about a month ago it's not really that amazing though there's just something so unsettling about all of them like this one just looks like she swallowed a glizzy hole and this girl's hair loki looks like bacon and although these are weird i still like looking at them sometimes and then we just cut to when i first installed the new drawing software and she needs some help okay so arms are up first and i know how to draw arms but i haven't drawn them in like a month so they probably wouldn't be pretty arms and you may think arms can't be pretty but it looks like someone hasn't watched stranger things aka my last video the video you should definitely check out all right so right now i'm studying demon slayer's arms because i like how curvy they draw them they have a nice gesture to it so i spent a good three hours on arms only arms and i actually like them a lot all right now it's time for clothing and this is by far the easiest thing i've done all video that took no time but all right it's time for me to try something i've never tried before intense foreshortening so basically when something like the hand is close 
opposite a camera, it becomes the size of the head, or even bigger depending on the camera shot. It feels so strange to draw like this. It feels like when I asked for seconds on free Costco samples. And alright, I think it turned out pretty well. This is not bad. And so I did the second one below it. And again, I think this one's pretty decent. But alright, ladies and gentlemen, time to create some art pieces. I've proven that I cannot pull a Kirby out of thin air. So if I need to look at a Kirby, I'll look at him. But for the face, hands, and shading, I'ma use no reference. Because it's more interesting that way. Will I take the dub or will I take a huge L? I'd say it's a good 50-50. But alright, let's go back to the beginning. Look at this girl. I still don't know why it's so creepy. And no words need to be said for this one. And then past that point, my art starts to get really consistent. Like for the most part, I can't even roast these. For the most part. Alright, three, two, one. It's the Mario special. Is Yoshi hungry or is he sus? Hey, I don't know. And then here we got female Mario chilling with Bluey. And lastly, I was thinking, how can I draw an unholy Mario scene? And I think I did it. But wow, guys, not gonna lie, I genuinely surprised myself. I did not think they were gonna turn out the way they did. And I'd say I hit my goal. I am consistent at drawing faces now. I'll be posting updates and art pieces on Twitter. So make sure to check it out. It's at the top of the description. But with that said, thanks for watching the video. Peace.